Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial in Max 9. This is super exciting. I have to remake every tutorial because last semester it was Max 8 and uh, now it's Max 9. So the funny thing is that in order to do that, I <clears throat> need to show you how to install it on your computer. So I'm actually using a different computer than my own because of course I already have it installed on my computer. But I wanted to go through it with you to show you how to do it. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I made all the same mistakes you would as I'm just going to like go through the whole process. So here we go, installing Macs on your computer. Um, I have a Macintosh, and if you don't, I will try to um, translate into PC talk. But um, generally speaking, things that you use command plus a key in on a Macintosh, you use control plus the same key on a PC. Not always, but usually. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Without further ado, we're going to pull, pull your favorite browser up. And then up here in the, uh, we can do it in the search bar here. Um, we can type cycling74.com and just hit go. And there it is. It goes directly to introducing Max, Max 9, which is great. We could just simply go ahead and download it here, though I will encourage all of you to read the page that I've put up with the minimum requirements for Max. I'm actually going to put them in the information below this video, um, just so you don't have to hunt around on the site. But you should be able to just go over here and hit download. Bonk. So, download for Max. Try Max free for 30 days. Remember this. Do not buy it. Try it. It is completely functional. You won't be missing anything. And you get 30 days to decide whether you love it or hate it. So here, go ahead and download it. <clears throat> so I've started my download. And um, that might take a while. I might have to speed up through this little part of it until that arrow gets all the way around. Oh my god, it's going so slow, I can't believe it. So, here it is, finally coming around, and just about done. And as soon as that silly thing gets done, we can either, um, well, I'll wait for it to get done and then I'll show you. If you're using Chrome, as I always do, you can just, um, it says it's downloaded and you can just click here. Or you can click on the download thing and hit the recent download. See, this is my screen recorder. I'm talking to this on now. I'm talking to you on this now. This is Mac, so I go ahead and I click on it. But instead of doing that, I could just click on it now. Um, we can go to the Finder, and if you if you happen to lose that, click on Downloads, and there it is, Max. Double click, 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 and it launches. You can read through this. I'm going to speed read through it. I am really reading every single word of this, but I have it on high speed. Just believe me. There we go. Also, I've been teaching Max for, I don't know, 12 years or something, so I agree with most of what they say there. Okay, so now um, it's downloaded it, and all we have to do is drag this over to Applications, or whatever it's telling you to do. Go ahead and do it. <clears throat> now, I have a little bit of an issue because I have um, an older version of Max on here. I'm going to say keep both because I don't want a document folder. So there it is. It is. It has copied, so I'm going to get that out of the way, and I'm going to go down to my Applications folder and scroll on down. I know I have a lot of applications. It's just part of the mess that... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. See? Old Macs. 
new max. So it's got a reddish little triangle in there. Um, gives me an idea for a new color theme for the tutorials. All right, so I've gone ahead and clicked on it. And one thing that I also suggest that you do, I'm not sure if you can do it while it's opening, but I always, I just say, stay in the dock. So, um, options, keep in dock, because I like to have it around. There we go. Now it can bounce up and down over here. The first time it loads, it may take a little while, because it needs to verify, which you can see it's doing here. And now it says, are you sure you want to open it? Oh my god, are you sure you want to open it? You want to open it! Open it! And so Max launches. Um, it may launch differently on your computer. I, I've already been a Max user, so you might have a what's new in Max here or something like that. Don't worry about that. This is the Max console. It just sort of tells you things that are going on. So it might be saying, hey, we loaded something new in here. Um... This is just one of those things, because you are truly a new user, you may or may not have the same thing that I'm looking at here. But don't worry about it, because that's not what we're going to do right now. What we're going to do right now is set up Max for your computer and the way you want it. And this is one of the most important things, so pay attention here. Go up to the top and click on Options. Go Scroll on down to File Preferences and open that. And you'll see in this window here, I move them around just because they're sort of dark and it's hard to tell what's one window and what's another. So when Max installed itself on your computer, it put these search paths in its preferences. And it tells Max where to look for files that it needs. Okay, so this one says in the user library, um, that's me, John Reed, in my documents under Max 9, under library, that's where it's going to look for my stuff. And then most of this stuff here is um, stuff that came with Max. But I'm not trying to bore you with the details here, but Max will only look here to find your files. So let's just say that you wanted your files all to be stored on your desktop. I'm not saying you should. I'm just telling you that if you want to store them somewhere, you can decide to add a path. So I go down here, I say, add a path. I click on the plus sign, and it I get user path 5. And I say, okay, this is where I want to store my Max documents. So I want to store them on in my uh, documents folder um, under Max 9 and then it's storing them under library but let's just say you decide I want it stored under a new folder called projects okay and you could decide to store them on your desktop or wherever you want it's it's up to you but so now I create a folder called projects and then I say open it and now it has it there and of course you want to make sure that you click subfolders too because if you put folders inside that you want Max to be able to find your files if you put a video or some music or um, I don't know what uh, some uh, oh, um, even if you um, were to happen to do some JavaScript code, it needs to be in a file that Max can find. So that's what we've done now. And any time you need it to go look in a new place, you well, if you need it to find a file, either put the file in one of these folders or come down here and make a, make a path that goes to the folder with that file in it. If you don't do that, Max will never find your file. So, um, that's how you set up Max. And just one more thing, and we'll be out of here. I'm going to get rid of the user guide here just so I have a little more space. We're going to go ahead and open up a new patcher. A new patcher is like a new 
file in Max. So we're just going to open a brand new one, and we're not going to do anything with it except save it. <coughs> so, but saving is disabled. And you'll see over here it says trial not started, saving disabled. Well, you need to be able to save your files, and in fact we just made a place to save them, so let's click on that and see what we're supposed to do. Oh, Max authorization. If you don't have an account, sign up here. If you do have an account, like I do, you sign in here, right? And um, oops, I have a separate account from school, just so you know. And then, um, oh my God, I can't remember my uh, password. It's too cryptic. Uh, something like that, and I sign in, and uh, you know it was bound to happen. Let's try that. Ha! Okay, so um, I am. Uh, you you can just uh do your free trial. I don't get a chance to do a free trial because um, it knows that I've already downloaded a license. So you'll pick um, either um, start my free trial down here or whatever, and then I just say, um, uh, I'm going to authorize this. Oh, I'm sorry, you might get a, a demo. Yeah, I'm sorry, your demo. Authorize your demo. That's it. And that'll expire on the 16th. Um, I... I already have a one-year license, so I'm going to authorize the other one on this computer. But choose whichever one you want. Go ahead and click Authorize. And this machine is authorized. Great. Thank you. Um, and sign out. There we go. Oops, don't sign out. Oh, my God. Now what am I supposed to do? I guess just close this thing. Don't do anything. You've authorized it. Get out of here. Don't do anything. Don't sign out or you'll sign out of the thing. But now you notice that it does not say that savings is disabled up here. You have 30 days to use your trial. Don't buy Max until you're sure you want to buy Max. It might be too high power to run on your computer. I mean, the other way around, your computer might be too lightweight to run Max. You might decide you hate this kind of thing. Who knows what you're going to decide? We don't know. But um, that is what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And we're going to do the very last thing, which is um, file save as. And I'm going to call it, uh, you notice it went right to the projects folder there, just like we had told it to. Um, in, but if you can't, navigate to your projects folder, the one that you just made, right? So that's where mine is, under Max 9 Projects, okay? And then I'm just going to save it as uh, Tutorial uh, 0. Um, and here's another thing. Um, save your projects with your name in them. Because if I get 200 Tutorial zeros handed in, I'll go out of my mind. So that's it. There you go. Um, go ahead and save it. And I'm going to say that that's it for this tutorial. And next tutorial, we will start making your first patcher. Thanks for watching, and congratulations on your journey into using some of the coolest software that has ever come down the road. So that's my humble opinion, and uh, this is your humble teacher signing off. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.